past and step forward. Let go your past, my friend. Past it'll haunt you, don't you, and hurt you. Let go the past to the end. There is something for everybody. Um, sometimes you'll go to a music festival, uh, maybe music and camping festival, where everything is just pigeonholed into a certain genre. Maybe it's EDM, maybe it's bluegrass, maybe it's country, or what have you. you know? Uh, Max Ames literally has a bit of everything, and I think that's one of the biggest draws. Every day I wake up, humming a song, but I don't need to run around, I just stay home. KHY has actually had a really broad variety of music this weekend. The Saturday matinee show was Joe and Vicky Price, who are Iowa blues legends. Then on um, Saturday evening, we had Coportium, which is like an indie band. They're a little bit shoegazy at times. Really fun guys, just like a good like three-piece with video projections in the background. We had Ibu, who is a vocalist who was backed this time by Jose Mendez of Cuervo and Dr. Murdoch fame. I guess I'm all about that. Robin Williams, I hide my problems. You don't have to deal with them. You say to let you know. Hear my people screaming out. Now I see fire inside the mountain. I see fire. Then we had St. Lennox. He's also a singer-songwriter who sings a lot about um, his upbringing, both in Iowa and what it's like to be a second-generation Korean-American. And then that show was closed out by Lawrence-based hip-hop trio Ebony Tuck. Uh, finally today, we are going to have a Flavor Basket songbook release party to commemorate the life and legacy of Charlie Vestal. I also want to draw attention to the release of the Flavor Basket songbook. Um, this is an unprecedented document. I've not seen something like this in our town or any town for a local musician. This is, this is the complete published, transcribed, fully available edition of all of Charlie's recorded catalog. Um, Nate really wanted to dedicate the festival to Charlie because Car Charlie was such a huge part of the music scene here in Ames and um, so he just approached me and said you know we're going we're gonna to dedicate this festival to Charlie we want to do a little more on stage and I believe also Charlie's brother Mark Farnsworth was uh, was involved in sort of coming up with the idea of the moment on stage. Randy's not the only one, Walter C. Home. I think of you every time it doesn't rain, Walter C. Home. I think you home so you don't feel the pain. Yeah, and I think Nate was trying to really bring a lot of the people who were associated with Charlie to the stage. It is a five-piece group. Um, we started probably a year ago, um, and Charlie was actually our original drummer. It was just kind of like a fun thing that we wanted to do. Uh, we actually play all the full moons, so that's kind of our uh, major shtick, I guess. I would 
say it's the the community is just so strong and and welcoming and you can pretty much be guaranteed to go to any show and make a friend and also hear good music. Yeah. <laughs>